Hello, welcome back to the channel. Hope we all had a good Christmas. We're back out in the morns again. I'm out with Stephen. Today's hike, we're going to check out the middle section of the Mourn Way. So the Mourn Way starts over there, way over there in Ross Trevor. It'll come through here, over the ridge at Rocky, up around Spelga Dam, down that way, across Tully Moor, and into Newcastle. It's a 30 kilometer walk. So it is. We are planning to do it in around March time, hopefully. Over two days where we're going to camp. So today's mission is just to check it out, get a good camping spot, hopefully. And we'll take it from there. Weather conditions, not actually too bad. At the moment, it's given for strong winds. So I've just left the drone in the car. So here he comes. Away from here, and then we'll just follow the track up to the ridge. We might take in Rocky itself and then drop down, but we'll see you soon. Definitely a lot of gusts of wind about there. Way in the distance here, Ross Trevor. Looks like it's starting to lash the rain. I forgot my waterproof bottom, so gonna get it soaking here. Just gonna follow the more wind things. Up night. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm thinking this is the only climb in the more way. Easier sort of climb. Make a start to it. There's a bit of rain here and wind. It'll only give 20% chance of rain. On our lot, it's raining, but we'll continue on. I can see another waypoint for the more way. We'll get there and then we'll check out to see where we're going. afternoon like today, the western morns. It's a bad place sometimes. Not much shelter. There's no morn wall this side. <coughs> but we have dropped down a bit. As much as I was to say, the cold to give us a wee bit of shelter, but it's blown over it. I see, can we see it? Hen Mountain in the distance. That's probably the target. We're just going to maybe Skirt around the bottom of it, scout out a few places for our camp, hopefully, and then just come back on ourselves. But that's what we're dealing with today. Just a vast amount of area with no cover or shelter, and I'm starving.
Just a wee tour around here. Cock Mountain, Pigeon Mountain, and then let me see the higher point, the Slave Muckamore, and the lesser point is Wee Muckamore. Wee Slave Muckamore, maybe? It's clearing up behind, hopefully. Uh, this time last year, we've done a hike. Oh, me. We've done a hike with Sophie over the Hen Mountain. That was an absolute crack out there. Got a bit of a sunset and all. We might get something tonight. Well, it's now 20 to 1 in the afternoon. Been a couple of hours yet before sunset. But it's going to take us another couple of hours anyway to get over there and back over. And if we are going to take in Rocky, it'll be an all 45 minutes probably added on to the journey as well. I'm going to go on here before breaking ankle here. Morning, you know, it's just saturated all the time, all year round. Definitely wouldn't have put my tent up in this direction, but I'm just going to try to make our way. There's like a track that'll bring us towards Hen Mountain. But Stephen's got his gaiters on today. I don't have gaiters, just just boots, but they're not that down at the moment. Didn't know what we bridge was coming up there. Who doesn't love a bridge walking shot? Fantastic. Way in the distance. A bit of light there, so it was. Hitting off Pen Mountain. It's in sight. The target is in sight, and then we'll definitely have to stop for a bite to eat. I was in work this morning. Lucky for Stephen, he was off. So you can try to pour on, but I'm absolutely starving. Finally navigated the, the rocky river there. <coughs> As you've seen, it was pretty deep and then there's like a drop off in it from the edge. So I had to go way up and then cut across eventually. <coughs> but it was nice to see the wee waterfall sort of hang there. You don't really see them hangs whenever you're up in the summits. Not knocking the summit, a hike or anything, or a ramble. But sometimes you gotta come down low and see that. But we're walking clean into the Gale Force winds now. That's where we're going to. That was the call. I get this right now. Tormina Rock. Rocky. So we've came down the middle there. But we've had to go way, way up there. Right there. Just over there. I'll follow the track. Back down. Happy now, fed and watered back on the track. We 
we'll find a couple of camping spots or when we're doing the morning way. Starting to drizzle now. Maybe hit the foot of Hen Mountain, do a wee bit more around it just to see where the more way it goes, and come back on ourselves and then probably just follow. I see the ridge line up the rocky and drop back down to the car. But full of energy now, nice Christmas sandwich, bottle of water, and we're on the move. Glad we stopped for dinner when we did there. It's took an absolute turn for the worst. As you can see behind it, it's pretty bleak in front of me. It's not much better, to be honest. We've got a hand mountain. We'll see how far we go with here. Maybe just skirt right to the bottom and follow the road up back up the Victor car park. Not too sure about Rocky now at the moment. Which is there. Hen Mountain behind us now. We're right at the foot. There's a farmer's gate where we're going to head to. Where we're going to go up right. There's a bit of a wall. I'll see if there's any more pitchable sort of places. And then probably just come back on ourselves. I could probably stay out all day now because I'm soaked damage is done. Oh, way way in the distance. There's an offshore coming all right. That only said 20% chance of rain. Just around the corner here is Spelga, Spelga Mountain, and uh, that's where you sort of cross the road in the morning way to head towards Art Car Park, Fofani Dam, and then back around that way, head in the Tully Moor direction. So we've came far enough, that's four and a half mile, I think it is. It's sort of the, the middle third of it done, or not the middle third, sorry, middle section. And uh, we're going to get to the back of the Hen Mountain track and see if we're going to go rocky. Now, it doesn't know what it's doing to be honest. One second the sun's coming out. Obviously, you can probably hear with the wind, the rain, as you've seen. And it's actually starting to clear up a bit. So, we can either go up and over rocky. Which will bring us to the car or follow the road, go on the road and follow the road obviously back to Leitrim Lodge but I'm not too fussed about it, it's a bit of a country road and people fly up and down it, don't like to walk up it or we could just retrace our tracks and as you can see now Rocky is fully cleared so 5-10 minutes down there to direct the track here and then we'll make our minds up Decision made, rocky, 522 meters. If I'm wrong, I'll put it on the bottom, what it actually is. Here we go. Stephen's done this before himself. That was a solo hike. He, he likes to go on about that one. I think it's probably the first time he's done it on his own. He tells us every time we're up this way. So he's taking us away, but it's gonna be a bit of a slog. It's just gone two o'clock, I think. Oh, first jeep is gone. Oh, 
Gonna have to go up a wee bit more upstream here. Crossover. And attack it. Rocky River not playing ball there. And I went right over the socks, ankles. That's us now, we're on our way. a bit of a slog fest. There's no trail up with from this side. It's just all this dead grass. On top of your knees basically. I was just pulling my legs clean out of you. It's not too steep. No way. Definitely doable but it's just a leg leg there. This day was making good headwear. I'll read them in now. No, 10 minutes maybe. It's up at the top. It's the summit. We're near there. We're here, we're on top of Rocky, I've never been, Stephen has, but like I said before he's held about up where many detained us. Slogging match, possibly one of the worst ever. Pull the lace clean out of it, but decent enough sort of views. If the clag and all wasn't here. Have a Ross Trevor direction where the morning way starts. I think we're trying to beat the track down here now. Pick up. Weather's coming in. Okay, let's go. Picking up the morning way now. Toma Rock is there. Rocky's that way. Just going to follow the way we came up to the car. Just down to Leitrim Lodge Car Park. Still blowing a keel here. Check in at the car. So I'll see you there. Safety back in the car. Six and a half mile done. Let me see. Yep, six and a half mile. Nice wee walk, ramble. Good bit of the morning way done. Well, the hardest part of the morning way done. Uh, checked off Rocky. Seen three or four camp spots. Camp a bad lot. 
all in all, I would say three and a half hours. Good going, to be honest with you. We're not allowed to break records, <laughs> that's gonna be said, but I'll just check it out here. I'll uh, hopefully get back on the weekly videos and I'll see you out next week.